Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a Scorpio reading for October. I was gonna say September, but whoa, we're almost done with September. So let's see what's going on with Scorpios, just overall, and then we'll go into the love portion of the reading. What's going on with Scorpios going into October? I don't know if you guys, whoever's watching, but I am Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Venus, Scorpio Pluto, and Saturn, so I'm very much a Scorpio myself. Yep, this is the energy, guys, a nine of wands, okay? This is such a Scorpio card, even though it's a fire sign energy. This is being guarded. This is being on guard. This is, you know, kind of resisting, not trusting. Um, so let's see what that's in regards to. It's almost like a situation is making you face a certain part of yourself that has come up a lot. It's almost like a mirroring effect, okay? And we've got strength, Leo energy. So uh, yeah, I feel like something may be really testing your strength and also testing the strength of your third eye here, okay? This is interesting, what I see is this dual thing here with both of these cards, the two cats and the two dogs. I find that very interesting. I'm sorry, these are not dogs, these are cats. So a lot of Leo lion type energy, um, which I don't know, I'm kind of getting the feeling like, you know, Leo is all about the self, the ego. There's something that's coming up that's really testing your strength and making you look at parts of yourself and um, also something that you have to really resist, like the temptation to act in ways that you've acted before, okay? And then we've got Sagittarius energy with the Wheel of Fortune. But there's shifts happening, and this was all like supposed to happen for whatever reason. It's all very um, unpredictable right now, what's going to happen as well. So I feel like Scorpios are a fixed sign. They sort of like to know what they're getting into. They like to um, be able to predict things. I'm getting a lot of actually fixed sign energy too with the Leo energy. But what this situation is calling you to do is to be more flexible, to be more go with the flow and to spin that wheel not knowing really where it's ending up okay so I'm gonna pull from I'm being called I wasn't gonna use this right away but it was calling me this dark night of the soul uh, tarot from uh, mystic moon and see what other energies are Scorpio dealing with right now actually let's see the energies around Scorpio here okay what are the energies around Scorpio because it seems like Scorpio is feeling sort of um, their strength is getting tested here. So what are the energies around Scorpio? Six of Torment, Stonewall. Okay, so you could be dealing with someone who is not communicating. This is Six of Swords, though. It's almost like they're not allowing you to move forward. They're keeping you hostage with their silence or with their energy. Okay? You're trying to heal. You're trying to move forward. And this person is um, stonewalling you, which is actually consuming you. And it's testing your strength here, okay? Ace of Wands, Inferno. There is so much fire sign energy in this reading, guys. So um, I feel that... I don't know why these cards are so far back, actually. Why? Um, you have a lot of passion. You have a lot of desire. You're having a lot of energy going into October. It's almost like your heart has like all this passion that you don't know what to do with. And then we have Page of Pentacles, Fruitless. But be careful that you're not putting your energy into things that are just not going to benefit you in any way, okay? So be careful where you're investing your energy. Make sure you're investing in things that are fruitful and not fruitless, okay? This is also uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, it's almost like maybe you want to start something, but you're afraid that it's not going to work out or something like that, okay? I want to pull some affirmations for you guys because um, it seems like, you know, starting off with the Nine of Wands, you're a little challenged right now. So what are affirmations that could help you in your journey right now? Oh my goodness gracious. All of these cards just flew out. It seems like you guys want to move forward and you want to move forward passionately and you want to heal from something, okay? It could be some, something with an earth sign, but um, you're, there's a block here. So what are some affirmations that could help you? I am fair, 
okay? This is kind of like a Libra justice type energy. Things are fair. Maybe telling yourself everything is happening the way it's supposed to. I am calm, okay? I am calm, I am calm. You might feel very anxious right now, and I am wise. That's what I was saying with that third eye. Trust your inner knowing. I mean, if Scorpio doesn't have the intuition, who does, okay? Scorpio, moon, Scorpio, um, any Scorpio rising, very intuitive. So you guys are wise. You know what the right choice is. You know what your intuition is telling you. So trust that, and trust that you're making sound, wise, calm decisions from this. Okay, so let's see where your person's at that you're dealing with, Scorpio. Where's your person at? I'm using the depths of the sea for Mystic Moon. Preparedness, Pelican. Okay, your person might be preparing for something here. Parrot, conversation. They might be preparing to talk to you. Okay, I feel like they have something to say to you. They're preparing. They're almost like, um, or they're waiting for you to communicate with them. If they're stonewalling you, then, you know, they might be expecting a communication from you. So I would not do that because that's not fair. Okay, just got a bunch of cards here, but I want to keep shuffling. Alignment, pebbles. Okay, so you guys might actually be getting into alignment with each other. Um, through this separation, you guys might be working on your own alignment within yourselves, which will benefit you guys together. Let's get some, um, some energies where they might be thinking of you, things that are reminding them of you. Okay, what could be reminding your person of Scorpio here? Music, records, could literally be actual records or keeping record, they might be like reflecting back on things that happened, okay? Or recordings, like you could have um, sent them video or audio messages and they're, re they're listening back. You could have some sort of YouTube channel and they're listening. Something where there's like a voice recording, I feel, or music is the feeling I'm getting. So they're, they're like playing back conversations for sure. You guys could have had, you know, like fun times together at a theme park or more lighthearted times, or this could be like an emotional roller coaster, okay? They're remembering just all the things you guys have been through and they're wanting more alignment. They're wanting more uh, peace with you. Um, they're just reflecting back on all the craziness that maybe happened between you guys. And something is making them like, they're trying to get more spiritual and as they search their soul, they're finding you, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting. As they search their soul, they're finding you. Let's get some messages from my twin flame current vibes. What does this person want to say to you here? My vision is clouded. I can't see straight. Okay, so I feel like you guys are both going through that right now. You guys both don't know what the right course of action is. You have those third eye kind of blockages. I feel like this person feels clouded. They can't seem to understand what to make of this situation and what to do about this situation. Okay. Look, we have clearing the air. I wish we could talk about everything. We already had conversations and um, preparedness. And we have romantic. After all this time, I still have a crush on you. Sometimes you make me feel like a teenager all over again. So you can make them feel like that crush feeling, but it could also make them feel like bad memories of when they were a teenager. Like that's like the emotional roller coaster of it. You could be triggering something in them that reminds them of hard times when they were a teenager as well is what I'm feeling. But they have romantic feelings for you, but that nine of wands energy that I started off with, I feel like is also them. Like they're very guarded um, and they're actually resisting. I'm now also getting a different story. They're actually resisting you with that strength because they don't know what the right course of action is. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, let's get some messages about their moods here. Yeah, we've got true romantic and loyal love and we have romantic here. So they're definitely feeling love for you. Whatever they're doing, regardless of how it looks, they do have love for you. The Scorpio, okay? This person you're dealing with. Let's get two more. 
avoidant, denial, fantasy, and looking away. So they're avoiding the situation right now, even though it is playing over and over in their mind. Look at this, we have crushing. We had, I still have a crush on you, okay? Attracted, interested, and open. They still have a crush on you. Those romantic feelings never went away, Scorpio, with this person. All right, let's get some final messages from them. After all this time, their feelings never went away. I regret the things I said to you when we were fighting. Yeah, I feel this has been a very scorpionic relationship. It's been very up and down. It's been very dramatic. It's been very intense. And there could have been heated moments where you guys both said things and they're regretting it now. Like I said, they're replaying conversations and they're regretting it. I think of you while I'm having sex with her. There's still so much passion and desire, that Ace of Wands energy here, okay? So I'm getting a very clear message here about that. They're still thinking of you sexually. I made you feel rejected because I wanted the upper hand. Games, 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 right? So this person has some insecurities. They have some control issues. They have some fear of being vulnerable. Okay, so that's what they're saying here. Get some letters. Got W H B L. I two more letters R and Q okay that is what I got for you guys and I'm just gonna get a couple of charms see who you're dealing with or what you're dealing with got an elephant and a key and a seahorse okay it's like more water sign energy, but this is also more earth sign energy with the elephant being more grounded. And like, I feel like the key to all of this is a balance, an alignment in within yourselves. And then you can balance out the relationship between the water and the earth is the feeling I'm getting. All right, Scorpios, that's your reading. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.